Um, we're going to make a soup <coughs> now based on the broth we made earlier. So this is yes. an acorn soup. Yesterday on the show we made butternut squash. Okay. Okay, let's uh, talk through the squashes. So let's talk let's a little bit a about squash. Let's have a quick squash 101. There's so many out there. Yes. Okay, so this is acorn squash. Acorn squash. And you can, in fact, serve it in your acorn squash. Which is cool. Which is super cute. And it says this is squash season now. So, you know, there's lots of beautiful things out there. Okay, so this is butternut. Yes. Okay, now not to be confused with butternut, buttercup. Oh, but oh, I find that really rude. So I actually use the, the <laughs> Japanese name for this is kabocha squash, yeah. uh, which sounds really glamorous, but it's very straight up. It is a delicious squash. If you ever have um, vegetable tempura, like when you go for sushi, mm -hmm. and there's a lo lovely little bit of squash in there, it's usually kabocha. Kabocha. Delicious. A okay. lot in, sim in flavor, a lot quite similar to acorn squash. All right. Okay, then our old friend spaghetti squash. Right. Now, spaghetti squash, you uh, roast it or microwave it, and then you go in there with your fork, and the strands all come out looks like spaghetti very very fun yes a little bit of butter some dried cranberries a little bit of thyme no, 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 no. So good. And then this little beauty, which when I showed it to my son last night, he said, Pumpkin! Halloween! Yes, Halloween. So looks gorgeous. Looks like a jack-o'-lantern, but this is called a sugar pumpkin or a pie pumpkin. Okay. So if you ever wanted to make a pumpkin pie from scratch, go for it. Do not use your leftover jack-o'-lantern. Oh, really? Those are bred to be large, mm -hmm. and they are like stringy, mm -hmm. not tasty. This is the same kind of look, but it's that sweet, beautiful taste that you get. Good to that know. You want. So sugar pumpkin, okay. Okay, sugar pumpkin. So, so today moving back we're to doing the acorn, acorn squash. squash. And I'm gonna turn this down because he's sizzling up. Yes, he is. So the acorn squash soup, uh, served here in the acorn squash. You don't necessarily have to do them together, but this is just super fun if you're, say, thinking about Thanksgiving already or you're having a fall party or birthday party. nice. Really nice. So this is a really simple soup. It just starts off with a nice sautéed onion. Come on, we're just going to turn this clear off. I feel like it's going to... It's really ready to go. It's Look really ready it. to go. Let's Pop give it a quick stir. That'll us. stop it. Okay, so a little bit of onion. Mm -hmm. And then in here, Lovely spices, so cumin, chili, and cinnamon. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of, you know, there's a bit of sweetness there, there's a bit of spicy, maybe like not hot spicy, yeah. and a little bit of garlic, it of tastes course. Like fall. It really tastes like fall. It's like warm spices. And although there are lots of curried squash soups out there, yeah. and squash soup with apple, all I like good, that too. all good. This is just a little bit something different. Right. Okay, so this is the squash that I have peeled and uh, just cut up into pieces. You didn't do anything else to it? No, that is. It. I okay. just didn't feel like peeling it on on air because you know it's annoying. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, it is kind of annoying. Um, but you know what? This formula works for any of the squashes. Okay. So you know, we love acorn squash, but if you decided you wanted to make this lovely soup and you only had butternut, you could do that. As same well. thing. And you wanted to cut them up roughly into the same size. Ish. You know, then I'm not going to come and burn down your house for that. Really, <laughs> really not. Thank goodness. So we're going to use, this is chicken broth uh, that we made in the first segment. Yes. If you want to make it vegetarian, which is what we did for the magazine, actually, you can just use vegetable broth. Oh, nice. Um, so really either way. If you don't want to use up your chicken broth for this, then use vegetable broth. You can even just use water. Okay. So that simmers, and then uh, you puree it with your little fancy dancy mm -hmm. number like this. Yeah. And then when you go to serve it, you can roast these beautiful squashes, and you could even <laughs> you could even Look serve it like that. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, I would just die. That is great. So to do that with the uh, with the acorn squash was that easy? You Lop just off the lid, ro just scoop out the seeds, yeah. and then roast it. And of course, do not throw out those seeds. Right. Take those seeds, put them on a little baking pan with a little bit of olive oil and salt and roast them up and use them as a garnish. Oh, good for you. Because you know what, that, I'll say this about Chatelaine Magazine, you're very good about using all of the mm. bits of a recipe. Mm. And mm. that's great. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the way we need to mm. be about food. Respect your food and use, use all, it all of it, right? Use it all. Good there for you. you. Mm -hmm. A little bit of and sour cream, lime off. juice cream, delicious. So for the specifics, uh, as mm. I say always, go to our website at cityline.ca.